Just last year I discovered the greatness of his Bioshock. In fact, I played the first game twice last year. This year I got a chance to play the game again due to the Remastered Edition. I'm Space Wizard and this is my review on the Bioshock Remastered Edition for the PC. Now before we get started, if any of you guys are here for the Remastered Collection that was released for the consoles, uh, this review is solely on Bioshock 1 and it is for the PC. But if you have not played any of the Bioshock games, definitely recommend getting the collection, you won't regret it. And anyways, here we go, this is my review on Bioshock Remastered. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor. Back in 2007, the Legendary series kicked off with its first game, Bioshock. Now, a couple of sequels and years later, we're given the Remastered Edition. If you've never played Bioshock before, definitely get this. If you've heard some negative things about the Remastered version, you can at least play the original. For those of you that got the free upgrade and are not sure what to do, I'll share my experience with the Remastered Edition. I'm a recent fan of Bioshock, and I've become a big fan of the series, so... I jumped at the opportunity to play the game again and gave it a shot. I heard that it has its ups and downs and I wanted to experience it for myself. Others have been saying that they're experiencing frame drops and bugs as well as low FPS, but I never had that problem. My computer's not the best out there by no means, but it ran very smoothly on it which I was really surprised. And I also never encountered any bugs in the game, so the game may or may not run smoothly for you. Maybe it was just luck for me, but who knows. Now. Is this a good remastered edition? First though, what are some examples of good remasters in a world of newly filled remasters? From what I've seen, the Uncharted remasters and the Halo remasters are probably the best so far that we've seen. Does this remaster compare to those? Well, the short answer is no. The game definitely does look better, I'll give it that, but some of the changes actually make it seem a little worse. If you take a look at some of the comparison videos out there between Bioshock and Bioshock Remastered, you'll see what I mean. The remastered kind of takes away a little bit from the atmosphere in certain places. Does the game still look good though? Yes, definitely. Now here's the thing, the remastered edition isn't just a remaster of Bioshock, it also comes with some extra fun. They've added mini games which you can play at any time, they are found in the main menu, and I've gotta say they're pretty fun. One of the really fun ones is one where you have to rescue a little sister and fight your way to her through hordes of enemies. If you wanted to see some behind the scenes stuff and some concepts, this is your chance. There's a visual museum that you can walk through in the game. The museum is pretty cool and unique. There are also some cool early concepts that have never really been shown before. Pretty awesome. Here's probably one of the greatest things about the remaster. Golden film reels that contain director's commentary. There are 10 of these spread out in the world of Rapture and are definitely worth finding. If you're lazy, you can always find them on YouTube, but what's the point of that? Each one has about a 10-13 to 13 minute interview with Ken Levine, basically the father of Bioshock, and Sean Robertson, animator lead slash director of Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite, and I found these to be extremely entertaining. Each commentary talks about different subjects like art inspirations, some of the animation process, and a lot more. If you're a returning fan, these are definitely a great break from gameplay. If you've never played the game though, definitely save them till the end. They do contain spoilers. Also, as soon as you find them, you can view them in the main menu at any time. They're definitely a great post-game videos to watch. Overall, this isn't the greatest remastered edition you'll ever find, but it's still pretty good. The commentary reels definitely make it worth it though. If you got this as a free upgrade, what's there to lose? If you're a first time player of Bioshock, remember that if this one doesn't work on your computer, the original probably will. I'm Space Wizard, and thank you for watching.